Somebody shout yes, we claim back the children on the blocks for you, Lord. We declare that the power of God arrest them now from every block, every corner, every den in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the angels of the Lord shut up a hat. We begin to move, we begin to move, we begin to move on our behalf as we the people of God, as we as kingdom ambassadors come to represent the kingdom. Somebody say we shut it down, we shut down the drug blocker. We shut down the drug dealer in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of violence by the power of God. We are arrested now in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout yes. We trample it. We destroy it. We trample it. We destroy it. We establish the Lordship of Jesus Christ. We establish the Lordship of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Come on, we declare from the east to the the west, to the north, to the south, we call swords back into the kingdom of God. We arrest your men minds. We arrest the minds. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shout yes. We arrest them by the power of God. We declare and declare that the chains have been broken from all of their life. In the name of Jesus, somebody clap your hands and shout yes. As we clap our hands, we declare walls are tumbling. As we clap our hands, we declare the spirit of liberty is moving through. As we clap our hands, yes, I hear the chains falling off prophetically. I hear the bands being broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare hopelessness and the spirit of insanity. Ah, yeah, 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 by the power of God. I break it in the name of Jesus. I arrest it by the power of God. Every spirit of insanity that is operating in this community. I declare and declare that your time is expired by the power of God. Somebody shout yes. We arrest it. We arrest it. Come on, put your hands to work and say we arrest. Come on, we come on, come on, come on, come on. I hear it in the realms of the spirit. Somebody become a spiritual law enforcement officer by our legal and prophetic action, by our legal and prophetic authority. We arrest them now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is summoned to cause sleepless night by the power of God, we serve an injunction, we interject by the power of God, we declare and declare sleepless night be no more. Every spirit that was sent to torment the mother, the child, the son, by the power of God, we drive it out in the name of Jesus Christ from this community, from this home. From this tongue, every bell rang in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear you in the realms of the spirit, but I shut you down as God's servant. We declare and declare that we are more than two. One shall put a thousand to flight. Somebody help me. Two ten thousand, and we are more than two. So we put every demon, every principality, every diabolical works of darkness to flight now in the name. Somebody shout yes. yes. Somebody shout yes. yes. Come on, we penetrate the heavens. We penetrate the heavens. Visit Virgin Ali. Visit Face Sewer. Visit Kalahar. Visit all the Isa. Visit, visit, come on. We release angels. Holy visit. Holy visitation. A holy visitation. A holy visitation. Come on, shout his Lord. We have come to make a prophetic statement. Somebody open your mouth and shout. He is Lord. He is Lord. Come on, as you shout, let every idol be torn down. As you shout, let every witch, my God, I hear it. Let every warlock, let every obia man tremble at the mention of the name Jesus. He is Lord. In the name of Jesus. So permeate this atmosphere, God. 
thank you for a shift. Thank you by your angelic help and angelic intervention that there is a shift, that there is liberation, that you have arrested. Ah, oh, my God, every false religion, every false teaching, every false doctrine, we challenge you by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We shut you down. You that have held the man captive, we break it now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare his name. So we declare the fire of God and let the spirit of conviction fall upon every man. Fall upon every man. In fact, I declare that the spirit of healing, the grace for healing, the anointed for healing, that those that may be in dying need of healing, let it manifest tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing for deliverance, I declare and decree, let it manifest tonight. The anointed for breakthrough, I declare and decree by the word of the prophetic and by the word of the higher priesthood, the lordship of Jesus Christ, let it be manifest tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you that it is done. Come on, somebody just push your boat together and shout yes. Shout yes, come on. Something is happening in the realms of the spirit as we shout yes. Come on, if two people shall agree, shall agree, shall agree, shall agree, shall agree, shall agree as we shout yes. As we shout yes. I hear the man say that for call the heart that it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Our sense nearness. Our sense arrive of nearness. Our sense arrive of victory. Our sense arrive of transformation. It is finished. In the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, come on, somebody put your hands together and shout the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Father, we declare it is finished. It is done. We have the victory tonight. Victory, victory, victory shall be our son tonight. Again, a pleasant good night to you. If you're just joining us for the first time or you're going to be viewing this recording, you have an opportunity at every given moment to give your life to Jesus. He is the one who saves. He is the one who wipes our tears away. He is the one who heals. He is the one who delivers. And I'll come by to tell you tonight, he is still able. Tonight, mommy, daddy, daughter, father, whatever your circumstance may look like tonight, my God, it is never finished until God says it is finished. As long as you are in the land of the living, God is capable. Tonight, if at any point you feel like giving your life to Christ, indicate by a hand movement, step across the road, find someone of us where the wine. Say, I'm ready to make a commitment tonight. We are ready to lead you into prayer. If at some point you want to be healed, you want prayer for healing, we are here tonight, willing to pray with you. Come out from your houses if you can. Jesus is at the center of it all tonight in Cora Hall. So put your hands together for Jesus, wherever you are, in your gallery, in your home, my God, on your rocking chair, my God, in your business place, in the community center, on the basketball field, on the playing ground, at the junction of the forwards, we call you out uh, at Virgin Ali uh, Junction, young men, give your life to Jesus, my God, because he is who we all need tonight, hallelujah. I say a present good night on behalf of my husband and I, Pastor Dwayne Dyer and Pastor Josen Dyer and the entire Restorers, Fishers of Men team tonight, a present good night coming from us and and those from the ministry who made it down here tonight, visitors of Call the Hall, my God, visitors from other ministry. We have a new group all the way from a church. Um Golden Lane Church. We want to thank God for the youth group that is represented here tonight and even the pastors and ministers from other different districts. We thank God for you tonight. My God, tonight we're getting into it. We have a young, vibrant team. A young, vibrant youth team. They are from right here in Kuala Hall. How do you say Tobago? Come on, I talk like I don't know. How do you say Tobago? 
are we on right here bread and born on tobago soil bread and born from call the hall in call the hall put your hands together and help me welcome the youthful spicy vibrant uh, restorers youth ministry dance group put your hands together for them as they come expression house media I get her, uh, this one I just for you, woo, 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 woo. I beg you just play more positive music, cause that's the one my friend them fighting for. Youth man, it's cost you no cost there, eh? it's cost you no cost there eh, youth man. You just really the last one talking about cussing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you look for that, you have to practice all your preach, then it's listening to everything you say. Well, I tell you, hey, okay, they mean business, they're finishing and they're finishing strong, amen. amen. Put your hands together for the youths of call the hall, right here, right here, right here, virtual and good things, good things can come from call the hall, amen. We came in.
into this vicinity uh, seven years ago uh, and what God did uh, my God he turned the community uh, uh, right side up uh, we thank God for all the people's lives that has been changed that has been touched uh, and my God God continues to deliver somebody if you know that God has been good to you and you are from this place uh, put your hands together and thank God for Jesus in Cola Hall tonight in Scarborough tonight for matter of fact in Tobago tonight Jesus is still Lord tonight we have a testimony coming forth tonight and this person is the honorable pastor Horace uh, he's from the Golden Lane Church uh, and tonight uh, we want to introduce him we want to give him an opportunity to speak to you young people and tell you how Jesus came into his life changed his life around plant his feet on solid ground put your hands together and help me welcome pastor Horace tonight God bless you yeah, good night, Cutler Hall. It's a privilege to be in the house. I call him it's the house. It's the house of God. People of God gathered here. You know, and we are going to take this place by storm. You no doubt about it. And I want to send a direct message, a bold message to this community of Cutler Hall tonight in the name of Jesus, not by me, not by my powers. I am empty without Christ. And tonight I can boast in Christ that I'm filled because of he who lives in me. And I know he who lives in my brothers and sisters tonight. We are great. Hallelujah. Yes, my name is, they call me Horace Cookie Andrew Kwashi. Well, I know a lot of the young men and young women around this community, this area, may not know of me. You know, more of the senior would have known me. You know, I grew up in this beautiful village of Tobago. And you keep hearing, you know, you come from a poor family. I grew up poor. I believe I was real poor. So then I grew up with a mind and an intention that I will never remain poor. I will change the dynamics of my family language not to be poor. But hear me, wrong road, wrong timing. I decided what was going on. Ben, I didn't get a chance to go in secondary school at all. I never went to secondary school. I leave primary school with one exercise book in my back pocket. I said, wow, hmm. you had to get CXC, you had to get O levels. It's all kind of antics. I said, but how am I making it? I said, no, what's going on? I think the only way out based on what I know is drugs. Wow. You know, my father was a dread man. Really dread. And all he dread, he wasn't a believer. If he used 10 words, 80s obscene language, and the list goes on. My mother, we grew up in Baptist church. You know where you had to go, you see people getting licks with coke, you brew, man. All night you sit down, you're holding candle, hip, hing, giddy, and candle fat burning up your hand, and all kind of antics. So I decided, I said, boy, I change in this dynamics, I will never remain poor. I get introduced to the drugs life by an old man, friend of mine, with some guys from Trinidad. 13 pounds of marijuana. I sell out that fast because I was a bold and brave guy. Eh? They love that. They, st they step up the ladder. 24 pounds. And the list goes up and up. 41 pounds of Colombian press. Cookie holding down that in Tobago. Ah, Tobago rock. People from Charlottesville, all about in Golden Lane. The police want to see me. I get so big in a sense now that I hide in and I send in out men to collect money and collect drugs and drop because I don't want the police to get their hands on me because he's the main man. When I leave here and I go to Trinidad, young men, I want you all to hear. You see the set of young men that perished in Tobago last year and before, all know my heart grieving because it's young men that I had conversation with over and over. It's young men that come to my home and sit and have breakfast. These young men from Golden Lane area and even part of um, Government House Road, the first gun they held, my son brought that for them. I have one son, he's 30 years old, and now he's a believer, he's a child of God, and he got thanks and praise to that. And those young men that you see dead, I could call one of them name because my wife nephew, he sleep, eat, and drink with real love up home by me, that young man, Kenny Wolf. It grieved my heart. He got killed in, um, in, in Concordia, they were called down in the back there. 
And it grieved my heart to see how that young man perished. Young men in Codla Hall. Young women, I could talk to you all. He had one beautiful young lady live down in the, in the back of Kirk, going down here. My God. When you watch her, that young lady, she looked normal. But when we sent her to Trinidad to come back here with drugs, my God, if you see port security, airport security, everybody tracking this woman because the way she's looking. And she's traveling with a bag with 24 pounds of marijuana. Don't care how much. And she's getting mental help and lift it. And then we will pause. And then the car will drive up. And she will stop the car because she knows the car number. And she says, Scarborough, we say, yes, she says, I have a bag for the trunk. We drop that bag in the trunk. Sometimes we take out a golden lane because, you know, we kind of mark now. Sometimes we drop her in a guest house overnight. From right down here, go on here. Hear me? Big military men in Kodla Hall here used to bring drugs from in Tobago. Right down in Old Fort Day, I used to go and collect big drugs. Hear me? Police start riding my bandwagon so hard. I come right in Kodla Hall, just a little up the road here. I wouldn't call them down in a holiday and take me back. One minister tell me one time, he said, Cookie, imagine big man like you going for them, them little young girl to bathe you. The big woman sit down and she read him. She shake, she calabash and she read and she say all what she had to say. And I go outside in a bathroom and a young, young girl get that calabash, hitting me calabash of water, bash, turn around, bash, like if I can't bathe myself. You understand me? So I'm sending a message to the young people. And even the elderly who are tied up in drugs and lesbianism and all this kind of thing. I used to leave Tobago, I go to Trinidad, strip joint, tell me I know about them things. Youths, if only in, in the body of Christ, all they go up in a Christian home, all they do is step out of, from under the covering. All they will end up like the prodigal son. And some of us wouldn't come back to see them young men and come back up to now. Who gone? Even one of my first cousins who gone in um, Grenada, who get locked up over there. Just the list goes on. I see this young lady who was demonstrating a nice dancing ministry. We don't want no gunman tongue. Here me golden lane was a place I sit in a home in my house. And I see men on the movements with a gun and all thing. But I never really come out to say well, I go set them up and call police to them. I used to call them and try to talk to them. Let them come home by me eat breakfast, talk to them. One Saturday morning when the Spirit of God moved upon my life, I was to leave church in prayer meeting and come out and I go straight on the block and the message that God gave me that Saturday morning was if all of you change now and give all the life to Christ all of you will perish oh, oh, oh. this ain't no easy road you know believers the microscope is on the Christians I just count on godly couples because the first the, the, the first and the foremost direct invitation to them is to give the heart to Christ because they're exposed to the enemy and why we as believers go live under the covering and go out there folks I live in here and I go in Trinidad I go in a house block around with galvanized four guns in them time a five shooter pump 238 and a nine millimeter hundred and something pound of marijuana X amount of pounds of cocaine you see all them things on the same TV where a car go come and run up in a street and pull up. When he pull up, a man just drop down below the car with an Allen key. Open down the gas tank. You feel his gas in there? It's only ganja and a gunman there and a gunman there. And we take out all them weed and they put them up in a yard. And it's a place if police come, we have nowhere to run and go. But we had the police and them lock. I could talk at telling all them, if you know how much soul there and police right in Tobago, you used to bring X amount of ganja for me. Right in Tobago here. Coming off at the port. Eh? I watch port security with a woman with, with um that was about five children come off at the port. When she walk off at the port with she and she children, them is a port security drop the bag for her in a certain point. I had also gone pay a sprang had to take that bag to drop it at my point. I watch a young man in my community met two young ladies on the boat and try to help them with the two bags. Them bag load with ganja. I stand up on the port so I watch him. And he walk off at the port and he walk right up to Royal Castle. And I take my time and I shut up the road and I meet up. I walk by one of the young ladies. I said, babes, you look beautiful. And you come to spend the weekend with me in Tobago. She watching me and she doing herself. I said, anyhow, long talk short. I said, cookie. As I said, cookie, she start to smile. I said, go in a car. The car gone. I take my car and I follow after. I take my car and I follow after. 
hear me? I live a life, I live a dangerous life. And I come in, I come in down because this testimony I could go on and on and on and on. But I come in down to tell all you, I even get robbed at gunpoint. Well, what are you living on? The drugs men in this area, the kingpin in this area, while they're living on police protection, all the paying tax. I used to pay tax too. And as an undercover officer robbed me at gunpoint with 32 pounds of marijuana. That's the last day I stopped sell drugs. You know why I stopped? I was brave. I was really stupid. I was tied up in the things of the world in sin. And I didn't fear that man, but the man was a bad man, an undercover officer. And he robbed me at gunpoint and get 32 pounds of marijuana. And you're going to tell myself, boy, to pick up that fight is a real serious fight. You got to buy back your gun because I had my gun. We learned a fella and he went and he robbed. The police beat them and they get the gun. So I know gun now, but I'm still running drugs. I could have got a gun, you know. But in Tobago, was so small. So them fellas will see everybody talking about the, the five shooter pump and the eight AR-15. And plenty of them dead and they gone and the gun and them bury nobody can find them. They know thing. And that man robbed me at gunpoint. I'm going to tell myself, boy, time to ride and do a thing cookie. I have voice here. Why you don't give your life to Christ? God, the whole this evening here, we are telling you, when churches like Pastor Diane and them come here this evening, I stay in a little hole until they're gone and I'm coming out and I'm burning the spiff. You understand? And I'm hiding. But there's no hiding place down here when Jesus wants you. When Jesus wants you, you can't hide, young men in God, the whole. All the change, all the life, give all the life to Christ. Give all the heart to Jesus. Time is running out. We don't have much time here. Only see what COVID due to, due to the Trinidad and Tobago. And that man robbed me at gunpoint and I decided what's going on. Set an example. Buy back a gun, set an example, give your heart to Christ. I gave my heart to Christ. And it's 22 years now and I never look back. Yeah. Young man, what is the problem? You never go to secondary school or went to school and you didn't do good, you don't have no subjects. Hear me? I walk into West Indies School of Theology as a young man who finished school since I was 14 years and some months. And I came out with a diploma in theology. When Christ in the vessel you could smile in a storm, while you're worrying on yourself, while you put on the gun, put on the bad man thing, give your heart to Christ, come to Jesus. All you see what's taking place right in my community in Golden Lane. Right now it's four young men, none of them in 30 yet. Sex with minor. Most likely they're going to make a prison. It's only if Christ gets in their vessel, they may ride out that storm. If he decides to pardon them. Hear me, young ladies. All you keep all your virginity for your husband. Keep all your virginity for your husband. I've been there and done that. I know how we know how to buy out the young ladies. We know how to dress. We know the type of sneakers, the timing. We know how to sponsor women in certain ways. And everything just simple and easy. All of those study the bling bling car and all them things, you know. I wanted car and I wanted bling. And since I give me out to Christ over 22 years now, I must be on about nearly, nearly 20 vehicles. Right now, it's an old H100 are driving, and I'm I real happy with it. I'm real happy. I don't care nothing about vehicle and all them things. I care about Jesus, and I care about winning souls of Christ. So young men and young women, God, like all this afternoon, if you hear my voice, hard not your heart. Christ is calling you. He's knocking at your heart door. He said, put on the ganja. I said, I used to roll a spliff. Half past seven, eight o'clock in the morning, when I woke up in the junction, boy, I just feel so sick now, eh? But I know God forgive me, you know. I walking up in Golden Lane Junction with a spluff in my mouth. School children going to secondary school, big people. And my motto is everybody in Golden Lane, this and that is the obscene language. Sometimes when I look back, I just feel sick. But these are some of the same people telling me, boy, Cookie, Horace, Andrew, boy, we're real happy for you, boy. You was a real delinquent. We're real happy for you. Christians, let us hold the faith. Let us stand strong. The microscope is on us. People is looking at us. They're looking for the, the no and the yes. And we always supposed to present the yes. Jesus save. Jesus live. So to the young men and the young, young women in Codla Hall once again. To the, to the people in Codla Hall. 
I don't know if it's still going on. Or like, tell me the truth. I don't know if it's still going on. Where the bearing people, but it's right here. Come on, I'll give me back when the police they come for me. So I don't know if it's still going on. But if they're still bearing people in Cornwall Hall, I said to stop it because the bat cannot work. After I take my bat and I'm done, I went by the woman a day to drop something for one of my aunts. She tell me how to come and renew. <laughs> What I to renew? Christ done renew my life already. I didn't get nothing to renew. I was already a believer, but she can't see that. But she want to give me her next bath because 350 I pay for that bath. If I get her money now. Eh? <laughs> but Christ lives, come the hall. We're going to take on the hall by storm. Jesus lives, Jesus reigns. And we're breaking up every fallow ground, every unclean thing in the hall this afternoon. We bring it to north. In the mighty name of Jesus. That is just part of my testimony for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Have a Come on, let's show some love. We thank God tonight for Pastor Horace. We thank God for having him, a.k.a. Cookie. We thank God that God delivered him, brought him out 22 years, uh, that Jesus is still in the saving grace and the saving power. Young people of Kola Hall, young and old, uh, if you are under the sound of our voice tonight, harden not your heart. Hearken unto the word of the Lord tonight. Know that it is... It, it, it is your time. It is appointed unto man uh, to die. Uh, and my God, after death uh, is my God judgment. You must give account. Uh, we will all die someday. We all not, today might be my day. Tomorrow might be yours. Uh, you do not know the time nor the hour. So tonight we are coming by in your vicinity to remind you uh, that time is running out. Uh, no man knows the hour. No man knows the time. Too late, too late may be your cry for tomorrow. Tonight may just be the right time for you to give your life to Jesus. And if you heard the testimony of the word from Pastor Harris, and you are saying in your heart tonight, Lord, this is me. I want to change my life. I want to give up the drugs. I want to give up the crime life. I want to give up this life that is not of God. I want to get it right. I want to make a, a major move in my life like Pastor Horace. My God, tonight before this curtain come down, we want you to make your way down to this spot where we can pray for you, where we can lead you into prayer and help you get on the right track tonight. Amen. We give God the praise and we thank God for what he's about to do tonight in this atmosphere and with uh, my God, the dynamics of Scabro, Cola Hall, and Tobago. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. At this time, we want to bring you some music ministry, hallelujah, by an awesome, young, vibrant ministry and team. My God, they are here again from Tobago. My God, four young men full of fire. They got testimonies how Jesus met them in the dark times, in the dark hours of their lives. And he told them to put down the gun. He told them to change their life from a way of crime. My God, a friend and a colleague. My God, a pastor in the midst of them. Tonight, help me welcome the Burning Bush crew. My God, all the way from Tobago. They are here tonight with a message. A message for the youths. A message for the young people to tell them that Jesus still loves them. That Jesus is able and that Jesus is still saving and making a way. Can I put your show them some love, call the hall. Blessings, blessings, good night, each and everybody. I really enjoyed my name is Collis Alexander. Um stage name Mighty Man. And before we do music, I would like to tell a little bit about my past or my testimony, right? I really enjoyed the gentleman, the pastor there from Golden Lane because I know the whole Golden Lane Passa Passa. Pastor. Yes, yes. I yes. know the whole Golden Lane Passa Passa. I know the whole thing in Tobago. But youths, the devil is after you all. The devil is after the youths. The devil is after the men. Young men. Young men. God call you because you are strong. 
if you're looking on the wildlife and you're showing like in the jungle, right? And you see like hyenas fighting like the lions and they're fighting the female lions, you'll see about 40 hyenas and they're fighting like about three or five lions and they're not backing down. One male lion. That's one male lion and all other 40 hyenas are scatter. That is how powerful the men are in the kingdom. The devil is stealing the men in the kingdom right now. Sometimes you might see a, a, a man and you might seem like he's real bad and eating and he's out there and he's doing very plenty evil. And he bent on going away. That is because he was misguided and misfocused and misdirected to do the work of the enemy. Sometimes you have a purpose, you know. Because all of us born with a purpose. Everybody born with a purpose. But sometimes it's just misdirection. So now you're using the energy wrongly. Now, that happened to me as a youth. As a youth growing up, you know, I was very normal. And growing up in the community of Trinidad. I was born in Trinidad. My mother is from Tobago. My father is from Trinidad. And then I left to go back to Trinidad to attend primary school. I didn't have any brothers. I didn't have any body. It was just me alone. And, you know, people trying to come wrong. And, and you had to find a way to defend yourself. So I developed a bond with my neighborhood and my my brothers from around it was about three or four of us and we we used to move i don't know if you'll ever hear something about the three musketeers all for one and one for all that's the motto we live by you can't touch she if you touch she you touch me and, and that's how we're dealing with it now growing up in that house now that household i began to get involved with drugs selling drugs at a, a very tender age smoking drugs marijuana not cocaine marijuana and we got a got involved in a lot of activities from a very minor age i attempted to rob people like about three four times and it just never get through and within i will hear my partners come back and they're going on robberies and like it's not that i wanted to follow them you know it's like you might have partners and you know watch me i'm more belly than them and they're talking you might have some partners and you might see they're going out and boy i say but i'm more belly than them boy if them could rob i i more dread than them that's how i was feeling but i never like god just keep moving that away from me and i really thank god for that started to sell drugs from a very tender age going to school we'll be getting up like early in the morning seven o'clock we all day uniform well dressed bag full of marijuana on the corner you understand that time was joint and 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 five piece and ten piece and all them kind of thing and we hustling you understand by the time all 11 o'clock we reaching in school after 11 that time we leave home seven o'clock all 11 o'clock we reaching in school one bag in your bag one bag one book in your bag and we not learning nothing for thy kingdom we're not learning we're just studying girls cards and just gamble and i went to school on nelson street which is southeast port of spain so cocaine selling in front of your face you're going to school cocaine selling push a men sprung us all by the side of the school is this real destructive environment for children but you know i got arrested in school in form four I got locked up for possession and trafficking of marijuana at the age of 15. And when um, I got hold, I got hold of two partners, and they hold like three of us. So when we went to the office and thing, they asked me, um, they said, three all are going down. So I said, nah, I talked to one of them, I tell them, I said, the drugs is mine. Because it was really mine. So I take responsibility and I let go the two of them. And I end up get charged in Bessel Street Police Station. And while in that station, I sat in a cell because I was a minor, I was in my uniform. And I was praying and I was talking to God. I said, God, because I realized, well, boy, this thing here, looking serious with the charge and everything. And I would pile a singles money, clocks on my foot. They're saying, you come into school to sell drugs. Eh? and they, they, they're mad and I, and I spoke to God and I said God if you get me out of this world I will change my life 
my father and my grandmother visit me, visited me there. And when they visit me, my grandmother saw, say she saw three persons in the cell, but it was just me alone, I told her after. I couldn't understand that. She, uh, that is what she told me. When I came out of that, I came out of that, I got out. I was placed under two years good behavior bond to keep the peace for two years. And I want my matter because I had no previous convictions. So I got a chance to go back to school. When I went back to school, I got, well, now self, all my pips went right up. All the girls was mine. All the respect is all kind of thing. is real, real thing. I went right up from ground zero to up. I done moved with bad company already. I left school with one subject, English and a tree. Because I was playing the fool. I was not guns. <laughs> I was just playing the fool. When I left school, I eventually came to, before I came to Tobago, I was kind of given plenty of trouble. And then my father said, well, you know, you ought to go, you ought to go back to Tobago. But the kind of pace I was moving with in Trinidad, when I came to Tobago, Tobago was slow. I already hear them talking about this man and this man is some bad man. And I would be seeing these fellas in party and the way they're moving, the drinking and drunking and staggering. And I saying, but bad man no drink and drunk. I say, bad man is drink and drunk. I say, but them fellas want a dead boy. And I, I came to Tobago here and I was, I started to kind of make a kind of, a kind of spin and people just started to follow me. Because I, I was moving on that different vibration. When the tempo that people, the youths are moving on, I was on that vibration. Years ago, I was ready to kill at will anything. I was willing to kill at will. I was just holding a corner, I'm not talking much, but I never even opened my mouth and said, well, boy, if you, if you touch me, I'll kill you. But I know to myself, if you violate, I will kill you. You understand? That was within me. I don't know that. And I hold in my corner, me and talking. But I know any time you jump out, we used to be driving a vehicle passing through Bethel, passing through Plymouth, going all over. God and we lap. And that's marking little hole and thing. And they're saying anytime time fellas jump out, we swinging up, they jump out on the corner and wet up everything. And all them kind of vibes. And I never on a corner. You never see me on a corner. I on the corner, no, but I'm not on the corner. You can't pass on the corner and see me. No way I'm like in drinking no beer. But I on the corner. But I in a hole. Because I know I understand once you're involved in these kind of things, you have to conduct yourself in a certain manner because you're all dead. And what I'm trying to say, young people, the devil is after the youths because sometimes we not we don't really understand. Everything looking Nice, it looking glittering, his girls, his music. Music have a, a lot of influence on the youth's mind. If you listen to music, I heard a song the other day, and the song was saying, fully develop. And I could just imagine myself as a youth with the mind that I have, singing a song like that, fully develop. So what it is they're saying, they're actually telling you right now, in order to be a gangster right now, you have to, you have to open up and let the devil come in. And that's what people don't understand. So when they see the violence and thing, the music have a lot to do with it. Because the music, when you know, watch me, I don't fully develop. So long time was badness to me, but the badness step up. So if we not understanding the youth, the, the music that feeding all youths right now, stepping up the violence because it's allowing the devil to enter. So we have to be mindful of that. And we as Christians, we as Christians, sometimes... We as Christians don't even understand the power we have. I am, a, I am a believer, right? And I believe in God as a youth. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if Jesus was God because I always seen the, the Roman Catholics and them and the Roman Catholics and them saying Jesus. And I, like, I wasn't sure. I wonder if it was still a sea. And I was kind of confused. And then I was searching within myself. I was searching within myself. Until a day I was smoking and I was just praying and talking and God kind of ministered to me through the word now, boy. I was high and God just ministered to me through with the word. And I get a kind of revelation and I was just crying, just crying, just crying. And that was the first connection I had with God. But within myself, I always communicating, I always communicating. But I'm not sure if it's Selassie, I'm not sure if it's Buddha, I'm not sure if it's Allah. Many times all my brethren and them turn Muslim. 
I just, because, you know, I still backpedal because I'm really too sure. But within that, I found Christ. I got a new revival recently when I heard and looked at a demon trembling and bowing to the name of Jesus. I said, Jesus Christ, I had to repent. I had to repent. I say, if people, the devil doesn't want me to know that he exists. The devil is the cause of all frustration, all sickness, all disease. The devil doesn't want us to know that he exists. I looking at a demon telling you and, and going down, Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. And I realize the demon going down on his knees. I say, Lord, Father, God, forgive me for not believing. It's not that I don't believe in you know, it. Sometimes we believe in you know, it, but we really don't believe. Because when if Elijah, the prophet, went up against 150 prof um, false prophets, he said to them, if God be God, serve God. And if Baal be God, serve Baal. What he meant to say, why do we, you, 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 you kind of waver in between two gods. Let us have a contest. If your God be the real God, build our altar, we will come, we will worship you, call on that God, and we will call on the true God. And he said a simple prayer. Them pray, the dance, the cut, the, the sprinkle blood, the, the whole day. And then he said a simple prayer that they might know that you are the true and the living God. And fire came down from heaven. That is the God that we serve. I said, that is the God that we say, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen, amen, amen. So when you hear that, know that within yourself, Jesus Christ is Lord. Don't ever doubt it. Believe that. Youth, remember that. And that is my testimony for the night. I don't want to be too long. I was really long. But I just wanted to share a little bit. So thank you very much. I will minister with a little song later on after the yeah, others do something. Mercy! <laughs> Big up Jesus Christ! Yeah, man! I don't want to be a gangster no more! Yeah, people! I said the gangster days are over! We give you life to Jehovah! I don't want to be a gangster no more! Now tonight, right, I know on the outer ears, some people, they have a concept of church people, right? I never had that concept, but when I came to Christ, when I came to Christ, and I'm in church, a lot of people on the outsiders bash church people, church people this and church people that right now i am not here to tell nobody on the outside about church i'm here to tell you about jesus right and i'm a living testimony so the church church thing that is between you and god right the relationship with you and jesus is the most important thing i was supposed to be dead when i mean dead I was supposed to swallow some bullets in the year 2007. I wasn't supposed to be alive. But Jesus knew that I would have given him a chance. Right? Living a life of violence. You know? Shedding blood. Love to shed blood. Well, end up in the wrong path. So all the gangsters in Kola Hall. I want to say big up Jesus Christ. I know some of had cold, But deep inside of a soft spot. And that spot there is an altar for God. Right? It's coming soon. Right? I just want you all to know that I have a new gun for called a hall. Right? And that one is the Holy Bible. This gun is Jesus. Called a hall. Big up Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. <laughs> Police can't take me gun. Me have a license for me gun. License to bust me gun. The Bible is me gun. Jesus is me gun. 
Boss my gun anyway. My gun give you every answer. My gun give you every answer. It don't need no silence. It don't need no silence. The gun and your salvation. Life transformation. Yeah. Rehabilitation, my gun boss emancipation, genesis down to revelation, my gun give you education, my gun full of motivation, my gun defeat Satan, cast out every demon, my gun boss L O V P E A C, my gun boss unity in every community, Colonel. Big up Jesus Christ! Yeah, man. Jesus Christ is Lord to the honor and glory of his name. Yeah, man. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready for some dancehall music? For some gospel dancehall music? I wonder if we're ready for some dance or gospel tonight, boy. Cause I'm all ready tonight. Anybody here under the blood tonight? Do we have any blood wash people here tonight? Let me see you put up your hand if you're washed in the blood. If you know that Jesus Christ is Lord to the honor and glory of his name. Let me see you put your hand on the rhythm there. One time, DJ. Let me see you really in the blood tonight. Yeah, man. This one when you fight for your soul. Because you see, there is always a fight. Eh? The devil warrior, but God warrior too. But stick with Jesus. Yo. The blood has not told me. And the blood of Jesus has told me. All right. The blood has not told me. And the blood of Jesus has told me. The blood has not told me. And the blood of Jesus has told me. The blood has not told me. The blood of Jesus has 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 told me. Your teeth feel very smart. Anybody here see that? Tell him to get out of your heart. The blood has passed over me. And the blood of Jesus has over me. All right. The blood has passed over me. And the blood of Jesus has over me. The blood has passed over me. And the blood of Jesus has over me. The blood has passed over me. And the blood of Jesus. I have no fear. There's no weapon that is found out here that can touch my gut to one who is here to be most like that. That is your mercy of prayer. I am protected. I do want to be elected. It was a man selected. I can be elected. That was what I read. And my sin was rejected. You better not talk about it. Jesus watch over me. All right, you better not watch over me. You better Jesus watch over me. You better not watch over me. You better Jesus watch over me. You better not watch over me. Cut the heart. I got set the free, so my prayers to keep the king safe in my heart and team back. No need to praise my God, I know. My God, there's a fire for my soul, but I know it. The devil is real, I'm going to show it. And the fruit of the spirit, I grow it. Ten to a track, no one can allow it. All right, you know there's my show over me. And you better Jesus, my show over me. All right, you know there's my show over me. And you better Jesus, my show over me. Let us watch over me. Let the Jesus watch over me. Let us 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 watch over me. We are going man still in the boy hey, love mercy still by the business and sisters but for Jesus this time Come on We have a gun tonight 
Yeah man, yeah man, continue to big up Jesus. Let me hear somebody say Jesus. Yeah man, call the hall. Jesus is alive and well. Come on, make some noise, show some love 
to the burning bush crew. Woo! They came, they shared, they ministered, and they, they sang tonight. And what a powerful testimony tonight. And we thank God for them. We thank God for God literally picking them up, turning them around, and planting their feet on solid ground. Call the hall if you are still hearing. And tonight there is a clarion call in this environment. There is a clarion call in this atmosphere for you to give your life to Jesus. If you are under the sound of our voice tonight and you are saying, Pastor, this is me. I want to give my life to Christ. I've heard, I heard so many testimonies tonight. I've heard the pastor. I've heard the young man. And now I want to give my life to Christ. Wherever you are, I just want you to lift that hand, lift that finger. Maybe I can't see a finger, but God sees that finger. Just lift that hand. I see that hand on that van. I see that hand up there. Come on, lift that hand. Lift that hand. Just put a finger up. I see that hand over there in the park. I see that hand. I see that hand. My God, my God, if you're brave enough, you can walk down and come to where I am. Uh, if you're brave enough, you can take a step. If you're brave enough, I want to ask the, the fishers of men to see the folks whose hands are raised and kind of lead them to the front where they can uh, come forward and we can lead them into prayer if we can. Uh, come on, lift that hand. Lift that hand. If you want someone to just come and stand next to you and pray with you this evening, uh, just lift that that hand right where you are. We want to pray with you. We want to pray with you. Uh, maybe you've got some kind of situation uh, and you want us to pray with you tonight. Uh, you want us to lead you, my God, in a prayer where you will give your life to Jesus. Uh, my God, just keep that hand lifted. Uh, keep that hand lifted. Uh, uh, my God, we thank God for you tonight. Uh, Jesus is still saving. Uh, Jesus is still uh, loving. Uh, Jesus' mercy never runs out tonight. No matter what your circumstance may be, what your situation may be, uh, he is still able. He is still alive. Uh, he is still opening tombs. Uh, he is still uh, giving you a new testimony, a message from the mess. Uh, my God, you heard mighty man testimony. You heard uh, you heard the young man testimony. How oh God changed their lives. Uh, change is gone to a Bible. We thank God for you tonight wherever you are standing wherever your hands are up mommy daddy brothers sisters we just want you to come in agreement tonight bow your heads with us my god if you are here also and you're saying pastor i've faded away i've stripped away i've walked away i have not been following i have not been living the life i ought to and you're saying tonight i want to recommit my life back to jesus i want to get it right I don't know if I have tomorrow. I don't know if I have next week. Pastor, I want to give my life back to Jesus. I'm baptized, but I fell away. I want to recommit tonight. I want to give my life back to Jesus. Just lift that hand. Just lift that hand. We want to pray with you. We want to encourage you tonight that if tonight should be your last night, my God, heaven is going to be your home. And if you agree, let us pray tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life. Father, forgive me. Forgive me for where I have sinned. God, tonight I believe. I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for me. I believe that he loved me. Come into my heart and change my life. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you said prayer tonight, I want the saints who are gathered here, you are not spectating tonight. Come on, clap your hands and give heaven a shout tonight. Let's thank God for every person who said that prayer, who said, God, I give my life to Christ. And after tonight, after this service, we want you to cross the road and meet those who are in white t-shirts if you can. Give us your name and contact number so that we can follow up and that we can meet you personally after. We thank God for your, for your life tonight. Somebody shout Jesus. 
Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus is more than able tonight. And Father, we give you praise. If you are here and you're saying, God, I want to recommit my life tonight. Maybe you fell away from the path. Maybe you were serving God once and then all of a sudden my things came and it shift your focus. Tonight let us pray with you. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever, oh God, Lord, the tools that the enemy has used to, oh Lord God, navigate that brother, that sister, that mother, that father to come away from the path of truth. We pray tonight, God, that you are still a mountain moving, God. We ask you to come into that situation, God, and move the mountains in their lives. We thank you, God, for realigning them again with your truth, your way, and your life. We thank you, oh God, Lord, for giving them good thoughts. Uh, we thank you, oh Lord God, for causing them to lift their hands and to lift their voice again. We thank you, oh God, for fighting their battles. We thank you, oh Lord God, for navigating them back into their purpose and their destiny. We declare tonight, dear God, that their lives shall not be stolen by the enemy. Father, Lord God, we speak life where death has been spoken. We speak positivity where negativity has been spoken. Oh God, Lord, we speak over their destiny and their purpose, uh, that they shall live, uh, that they can live again. Again. Father, we speak life. We speak, oh God, you will coordinate their lives to come back in realignment with your purpose and your destiny for their life. Father, we thank you for moving the mountains. We thank you for making impossibilities possible tonight. We thank you, dear God, that you are still able. And Father, for this, we give you praise, honor, and glory tonight. Father, we Thank you tonight. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. If you were one we just prayed for, we thank God for you. Find a Bible-believing church wherever in the vicinity of Tobago. If you're watching this live tomorrow, find a Bible-believing church in Trinidad or any part of the world you're from. Find a Bible-believing church. Commit to my God. Find the pastor and commit. My God, and grow yourself. Ask God to grow you in that ministry. Find his love. Find what you need there and let God blossom you. Amen. It is finished. Somebody say it is finished. It is done. God is able tonight. Tonight, before we bring the curtains down, we have a surprise guest minister tonight all the way from Trinidad. Somebody say Trinidad. Hallelujah. And he has an entire team that came to support him tonight. Come on, somebody make some noise and show some love tonight as we welcome the one and only minister. My God, a wonderful minister from South Trinidad. Big up my South people. If you oh gosh, it's I'm from South. So anyway, big up your South people. Pull up your whole self passage. <laughs> Amen. So uh, help me welcome for the first time to call the whole Blocko event, gospel explosion, soul winning adventure. Help me welcome Minister J. Prince. Put your hands together and show him some love. <laughs> Listen, you see me and you never will know all the pain that I'm going through. Only one thing that I want to do Live in truth and save the Father Hey, hey, hey So I fight, we go fight some video To hold the faith and keep my head still But the devil is a war with my Trying to keep my feet out of Zion So make me more like you Father make me more like you 
Good night. My name is Jay Prince. For those of you who don't know me, and for those of you who do know me, ah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just a it's just a pleasure to be in Tobago. This it's been a very long while since the whole COVID quarantine thing. I have not been to the beautiful sister Isle of Tobago, and it's just a pleasure. I just want to say thank you for allowing me the opportunity to come here. It's always a blessing being in Tobago. Chidi, you ready? One tune again. Somebody says, Sir! Yeah. Run it. A woman and a na 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 na, yeah, 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 Somebody say fire! Take a 
talking with the artist. He was sharing his testimony and he said, you know what? Men just look for it in weed and this and that and the other. And tonight, yes, Benjamin, you don't know, pull aside and take in the word. And I can confirm that. That no other song I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. <laughs> so here it is. I was in Tobago. I was in Tobago for this. But as a psalmist, so when he called he come, he called the psalmist to sing the psalmist had to come, right? Because I see commission, right? But I really in Tobago with a group called Itnak. Right? So Itnak is my family now. Because Itnak stands for is there not a cause? 
right? And ITNA goes all over the world, all kind of countries for 20 years now. This is actually the month of their 20th anniversary. And we go all over the world spreading the love of Christ. Not only the word, but physically. Building homes, building schools, teaching people, feeding people, taking care of people, and showing people that physical representation of the love of Christ. And as an artist, I say, hey, the, earlier this year I ring up with them and I say, hey, you know what? What better way to minister as an artist than to align yourself with people who are going and doing the work of the Lord? So today we're here for the 20th celebration, which is Saturday and Sunday. And Trudy called me and said, Prince, where is he seen? Ministry later, boy. He said, Block over on the street. I'm a, the blood in my veins had to run because you know what? <laughs> the Prince is a street ministry artist. You know what I mean? Or they might know me for blood of Jesus from Thunder Road, but let me tell you something. You see, the streets, I come from the streets. I come from the streets. When I started off doing music, it wasn't gospel music. It was in the Pasa Pasa days. I was a DJ telling girls to spin on the top of the head. So when I come into Christianity now and I sing in music, who I going to? I going to try to do? It's how William McDowell to do William McDowell. I respect him for what he do. But I had to come on the streets and tell the girls and them come off from the top of your head. And come back on your feet and stand on the firm foundation which is Jesus Christ. So tonight I want to sing some songs for you guys. You might not know them. But if, as a matter of fact, we ain't explaining, no, no. Let me sing the tune. The tune will be the tune. Don't forget, don't forget. Now when you're feeling get to use all of my friends there, with the pan, the plantation, I say we are so land, we will add to the paper, so we know our power no more, and we not take failure. Hey, let me get to you, must reach, let me get to you, by house and land bandage, let me get to you, all of them dream of the pumps, but I land for house and skill. Trust in the Father, He will provide for you. And it's hard and the field, so we pray that we reach. Oh, me no bad, me no close to me, and I'm about everything I hear. Me no bad, but my no school, me no free, but try God, me tell me things, but I dem no answer. Me a praise, me a better day. Me the money can't do me. Me want to make some friends and family, but a holiday in a Italy, that's what me say. Hey. Fresh, ever clean, safe, and a bad a come try, but he might say, he has brought me the Almighty. So every ghetto, 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 you must rage. Every ghetto, you are by house and land bondage. Every ghetto, you are left them deep to the bonds of the land. Now, don't you see that? You're just another father. You must provide for you. It's hard as the fields of the prey that you reach. Money when we get us legal, legal shows we put on us legal. Respect the all man and all girl. Now go left where we come from, none at all. We want the sub a billion. We no pay for two schools and feed up a billion. But I hear not a next one. I won't make no bit an empty man. Uh-huh. Ever fresh, ever clean, say it, and I'm about to come try to see my soul. We are who are the almighty. So every get to get to get to you, must reach. Every get to you, man. Five thousand land bondage. Every get to you, man. Let them dream to the bonds, but I land our own in the street. So the church and the father, they must provide for ya. It's hard and it's deep. So we pray that we reach. Must reach. Every get to you, man. Five thousand land bondage. Let me get to you, man. Let them dream to the bonds, but I land our own in the street. Just sit down in the room, and make everything happen. It's hard on the field, so we pray that we'll be changed. Now, when you're free, you get to you. I'm his friend there. With the man, the plantation, in the frustration, in the hops, and we are begging to say, Who would action? Please, God, deny your meditation. 
My dream and my intention is to see every ghetto youth reach their aspiration and reach their goals. This is one of the reasons why I aligned myself with ITNAC and became a permanent member. Because that is the mission to reach your goals and your dreams and your aspirations. But we in a world where the devil does come in like a like a like a roaring lion. And he does come in and he's the father of our lives, so he does deceive people. So it does make you feel like you can reach your goals and your dreams and your aspirations by doing anything possible. It don't have a right way and it don't have a wrong way once it gets you in the end. But he don't tell you that the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add it no sorrow. So the blessings of the devil make it rich and add it plenty sorrow. So when you think that you use your your God and your Obia and your Pundit and your little buck living in the back that you feed them. Buy that little extra money so you go get a little and you bribe this one for your license and you do this and you do that and you do the other and you do all kind of things that are against the law, that are against the word of God to get you. I want to let you know that it have a day that you're going to have to pay. And it might think to get you now, but the end is going to be a bit more. Give me the next tune. Life teach me that paper is paper and paper go like paper. So we can an aim. Ah, yeah. But if you're lucky, you find a real one. Ride or die, you can't depend on. Go in shock from 90 down and push it up for the real ones. Look, you want to see me friend then? The one that went iron. We are up to me friend then. The one that went iron. Sky I up to me since he want the bell iron. Everybody needs somebody, but what body don't need everybody. So keep me friend them close to me, and me enemies far away. Call they pretend to be your friend until you get better than them. So me don't give them friend title. Them will ride you like a bicycle. When the fire get hot and the tire get flat, behind your back, yap them a yap. Stick up it, make me say this quickly. If you come with the job. And then kiss me So I move like you Let me shift it Your motives on there It's misty See them I record this speech like Siri And I mix it up with the twisty So they see them all so clearly For the vision 2020 Listen Mama say Friends will kill you And don't bring you back So when you get a good word Cherish that Cause I act so I act hard Who are me day one then Soldiers may have fight to the end my real friends, me salute them. They want to see me friend them. He want them well iron. We are up to me friend them. He want them well iron. Sky I up to me sister. He want them well iron. Everybody needs somebody. But what body don't need everybody. So keep me friend them close to me. And the enemy is far away. God, they pretend to be your friend until you get better than them. So, we don't give them friend title. Them will ride you like a bicycle. When the fire get hot and the tire get flat, behind your back, yap them a yap. Let me tell you about the closest friend. His name is Jesus. Him left for heaven and come to my earth just to free us. So do your work, he give my post, every and rose, every and rose. Do your work, he give my post, oh yeah. Tell a fellow man not dead. Mama said, friend, go carry it, don't bring you back. So when you get a good word, cherish that. Cause I act so bad, but do all me be a one name. Soldiers may I fight to the end. The real 
real friends, we salute them. Now I just be friend them. You want them red iron? We have to be red church. You want them red iron? Sky I up to be sisters. You want them red iron? Everybody needs somebody. What body don't need everybody? So if we friend them close to me, I'm the enemy far away. So the reality is it only a one true friend and that is Jesus Christ. And if you have to find a friend on earth and you have to find a true friend on earth, it has to be a friend that in Jesus Christ. And I'm not talking about pretending to be Jesus Christ. You know? I'm not talking about putting on a shirt and a tie and coming out every Sunday morning. I'm not talking about that. You know? I'm talking about somebody who every single day of the life you see the acts and the actions of Jesus Christ. You see them emulating the life of Christ on the earth. That is the only type of friend you should have. Because you know what? The other type of friend is going to lead you down a path of destruction. The other type of friend is going to lead you down a path of destructions. And they're going to keep you from walking in your purpose. They're going to say, nah, but you can't do that. Every time you think, talk about doing something for God. Nah, you can't do that. Nah, you can't do that. Nah, you shouldn't do that. And then hear them now. Hey, let me go down by the shade now. Eh? Jade monkey, that anyone? one? That's what they're going to tell you to go. Then we will tell you to do this. Hey, we are going to school today. Now let me break school now. Let me, let me break beach. Let me go and handle another scene. And take you off for your purpose. And take you off for direction. But my word to you tonight is look for good friends. Friends that are in Christ. Let's know. Where's the next one line? All right. Run it one time. And as a youth... And even as somebody who I told her on a youth, you have to remember always look out for the devices of the devil. Because the devil is smart and is intelligent. In a sheep garden, the devil don't feel about the devil. But you see the snake down in the grass, they come in to play their game. Some of them are some of them are friends. Now play with them, now play with them And they walk like straight but bend like them Me don't no play with them Cause So if that is a sly old fox If I get them all put them in a box Lump and box and chow with the key For all and six feet to the deed Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up Pull up, pull up, pull up Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up Somebody said better for her Run it again, one time You have to read proverbs and you'll be able to see them out. Wolf in a sheep garden. The back of the field of course we dare. Run to the stick down in the grass. They come in to play their game. Some of them are some of them are friends. Now play with them, now play with them. Cause they walk like straight but bend like them. We now we play with them. So if I need a style box, if I get them all, put them in a box. Lock that box and show away the key. For all the tricks we play on me. So if I need a style box, I get them all, put them in a box. Lock that box and show away the key. Now we're playing. We're not going to play that. 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 I don't know. We don't play that. Hey, hey, 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 we 
I'm not drinking, but they're drinking me. I sit in this seat, them seat is eating chips and seal it sinking. I'm not interested in your thinking. Pass the bad mind thing, we now go play that. Strictly straight up, vibes we are doing. Me no fear that, don't see it then. Me no fear that, me no fear that, hey, hey, hey. Me no fear that, no, me no fear that. Say that there's a sky on top. If I catch him out, put him in a box. Lock that box and throw with the key. For all my tricks, he play on me. Hey, say that there's a sky on top. Mind catch him out, put him in a box. Lock that box and throw with the key. Say it now, go play me. Say it now, go play that, hey, dad. Say it now, go play that, hey, dad. We now go play da 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 We now go play da 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 We now go play da 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 We now go play da 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 so here it is. So here it is. If there's some people that get caught in it, and they want to hear the results of the people who get caught and the people who play Satan game and feel like they outsmart Satan, hear them now. One last time. I will do it one last time. I will do it one last time. One last night I go in and sell drugs. One last night I go in and party. One last night I go in by the boy. And that is the night. Say the scorpion go in and raise the tail and hit your what? That is the night you're going and regret you didn't go and you know you're going and say after and I didn't tell myself, you know. If I didn't know. But the Bible says God does make a way for you. And sometimes we just wait until we're in the middle of the storm to say God make a way for me. But God make any way for you? God make any way for you since two days ago when you text the person and God said don't text that person. God making the way for you since the last two weeks when he tell you delete that person number. And he never delete that person number. God making the way for you a long time. He making the way I escape for you a long, 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 long time. And it is wait until you're in the fire front to send the fire station. So you have to mobilize the whole fire station to get you out. And long time it tell you, don't go data fire. Don't go data fire. Don't go data fire. Don't go data fire. Well, all right, you got to get your bouncy singe. <laughs> but God is good still. And he'll fight for his people. But let me give a little story about what has happened to people who play that game with Satan and feel they could come out on the winning side. So much I use get shot. When we check the facts, most of them black. I walk around with that. Pick up a book, don't pick up the crack. Make could change the facts. I'm down on my knees. Father, hear me cry. I'm begging you, oh please. Me in a war for years. And I want God. And I don't get to you, God. Oh, I'm a rough fly like the child. Text come in from the phone out another rush up. Do six point eight and your face mash up. Yeah. One life a hell of heaven. I miss it too much, gotta run one. Too much taking it. I miss it too much, gotta run one. They turn me in a bloody city. Hey. I miss it too much. 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 Too
manifestation of the evil. When your blood run and it gone down to hell, that is another situation. When you're living your life and every single day you feel like, hey, I want to die, like I don't want to live anymore, that is another instance of your blood running figuratively. When you feel like, hey, I am not good anymore, I am depressed, I want to lay in that tonight in Christ you have freedom. That tonight in Christ you have freedom from the chains. You have freedom from the habits. You have freedom from the addictions. You have freedom from the depression. You have freedom from the oppression. You have freedom. And don't think that because that is what I do for the whole of my life. That they can't change. Don't think that the only, because the only skill that you have, you only have one long skill to come to church and all the rest are skill to short skill. Don't think that God don't wear your dress as he is. Don't think that because you smoke a weed Sunday morning, you shouldn't walk in the house of the Lord. It's now we want you. Yeah. When Jesus Christ come on the earth, where you feel he went in the church and told the disciples, Jesus went in the streets and he take fishermen and tax collectors and men who everybody used to look down on and he made them into disciples. And that is what he commissioned us as Christians to do. To make people into disciples. So I ain't looking for how I go recruit the pastor. I can't recruit the pastor. He doesn't get recruited a long time, saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost, filled, water baptized. Jesus is mine, I found a new life. Or they're not tuned, man. But the pastor, he doesn't lock up in the kingdom already. We have to look for the people that need Jesus. And Jesus looking for them people every single day. So let me tell you something. You know how you can know if Jesus is looking for you? Are you hurt? Are you broken? Do you feel lost? Do you feel desperate? Do you feel like you need a way out? I want to tell you tonight that Jesus Christ is that way out. And it don't matter if you kill, it don't matter if you lie, it don't matter if you thief, it don't matter, it don't matter what you went through. And it, it might have some people that went through certain things in their life that make them feel less than who they are as a person. Family members do your things. 
friends do your things people that you look up to do your things and it make you feel nasty and it make you feel dirty and it make you feel like you're not worthy but i want to tell you tonight that jesus christ could turn it all around the one that finish after them all of my friends them yeah, the one of the actors, eh, my sisters, well, we say our oh, can separate us from the love of Jesus, no one, no one, oh, you could have come from that man, till a gunman boom, for the God he can... All of my friends, uh, <laughs> yeah, the one of the hot girls, my sisters, well, we say our oh, heart can separate us from the love of Jesus, no one, no one, well, we could have come from that man, will have one man boom, so that God, he can turn it around, could have met him up, he tried to sit and jump, he can turn it around, could have come from that Jesus will make your life pretty good up Crush your belly out of your eye down We can turn it around Some of them don't really wanna be bad But all the pain in them heart has sent that man Listen, situation pressure Bus pipe like it now get better Hey, some of them must step away But there is no get away But me say God will make a way Cause I him got the city that Where there is nowhere Hey, me say I him got the key for that So this is what me tell him Jesus Christ is love on him hey, And if you believe you turn and you leave You could have come from that man Will have one man boom For the God he can turn it around To the next I'm a big guy So he can jump He can turn it around To the come from I can play love and girl So the Jesus will make your life Pretty could have Crush it and I have to ride him He can turn it around To the No, no, no No, no, no and I want you to know tonight that if you think that you need a turn on in your life, whether you've accepted Christ already or not, I want you to say this after me. Say, Father God, I'm a sinner. Say, Father God, forgive me. Say, Father God, I believe in you, Jesus. Father God, wash my sins away. Hey! You could have come from bad man till a gun man tongue. Father God, he can turn it around. Could have make him a beat like African drum. He can turn it around. Could have come from hot girl in a bad girl city. Jesus will make your life pretty. Could have dash your belly out at you right down. He can turn it around. Could have come from bad man till a gun man tongue. Father God, he can turn it around, could I make him a beat like African drum? He can turn it around, could I come from hot girl in a bad girl city? Jesus will make your life pretty, could I dash your belly out of the ride home? He can turn it around. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We say make some noise. Hallelujah. Tonight we bring the curtains down. We want to say thank you to every person who have traveled near and far for the Burning Bush crew and the Pastor Carell boys, for all the other ministers, visiting ministers, Pastor um, Horace all the way from Golden Lane, the Golden Lane youth group that is also here. We want to thank God for those who came with Minister J as well. We thank God for you from Restorers. We thank God for the cooks who offered you some hot fish brought this evening. And if you hadn't gotten a little sip, make your way over before you leave to collect something, okay? So tonight we just want to pray and bring the curtains down. We thank God for every person who will have given their 
life to Christ, we would have walked this village already. We would have met people one-on-one -on -one who did give their lives to Christ. So don't worry tonight. You may not see an altar call because we already met people, prayed with them, and led them into receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Amen. So this was just our follow-up, our end of tonight, giving God thanks, giving God praise. If you are still under the sound of our voice and you haven't given your life to Christ, we want to encourage you to locate us. We are restorers of the breach. We are located at Triangle Building, obliquely across from Wasa in Scarborough. You can meet us there, top floor, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. on Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. We love you. Our contact number, if you want to contact us, Three four four six four nine five. You can contact us for prayer, for deliverance, and for also giving your life to Jesus. We love you. Let us just lift our hands and praise the Lord. Father, we thank you tonight for what you have done. We thank you, O oh God, that this village, O oh God, Lord, has been echoed under the banner of Jesus Christ. We thank you, O oh Lord God, that walls in the spiritual realm came down. Though our eyes may not see it now, we know it already happened. Father, we thank you, O oh God, Lord, uh, that you have given us the victory over the city. So, Father, Lord God, indeed, we say thank you. We thank you for every soul. We thank you for every person that gave the their life to Christ tonight, this afternoon when we walk through this community. We thank you for the young people who accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Father, even as they sleep tonight, uh, oh God, Lord, speak to them in their dreams. Uh, touch them. Uh, oh God, move mountains out of their lives. Uh, and oh God, reveal yourself to them, to every family, to every home under the sound of our voice. Father, we pronounce a blessing and not a curse. We declare, call the whole beloved to Jesus. We declare the city is blessed. In Jesus name, amen and amen. God bless you tonight. We love you. You are dismissed and we hope to see you another time. If it's not at this venue, at another venture where we big up the name of Jesus. God bless you. We love you. Hey madam woman Hey what I say Hey boy baby Hey what I say Hey little lady yeah, what I say? Blood of Jesus, conquer fear demand. Blood of Jesus, conquer depression. Blood of Jesus, conquer poverty. Blood of Jesus, conquer you and me. Blood of Jesus, conquer sex demand. Blood of Jesus, conquer disobedience. Blood of Jesus, conquer everything. Blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Break every chain.